All right, um, we're going to be working with independence. I know the top of the page, I'm looking at page 40, says type of categorical displays. But uh, on this page in, in our video 17, we briefly looked at independence, and so I'm going to go to the bottom of that page. So this is page 40, and we, this we discussed in detail on our, on our uh, video 17. And when, what I wanted to say about this is if things are independent, if variables are independent, in this case we had variables of IQ and variable of dominant hands, and if they're independent, they'll be proportional. And basically when I turn these values, these observed values into proportions, I, I see that high IQ is 10% across, regardless whether you're right-handed or left-handed, and normal IQ is 90% regardless whether you're right-handed or left-handed. So that tells me, hey, they're proportional, and because they're proportional, they are independent. In other words, whether you're left-handed or right-handed, it doesn't seem to impact IQ and vice versa. Okay, so um, on a previous page, we showed a pie chart that had a Pew Research poll of party affiliation by race. And then we had a segmented bar chart that showed a party affiliation by race. And we said that, hey, you know what? I can look at that party affiliation by race on the uh, segmented bar chart. And we know we're supposed to be proportional. If they're, in, if they're independent, they'd be proportional. Well, since the segments are not proportional, they're not equal across the different categories of race, then consequently, um, they are not independent. So basically, party affiliation is dependent upon race, according to that Pew Research poll. And that's on page 42 of your notes borrow. So moving to page 43, we said, all right, based on the 2017 Pew Research poll, and we did this all in uh, video 17, um, party affiliation and race are not independent. However, for this next exercise, for the scenario three, Assume that they are, assume that they are independent and the distribution of party, uh, party follows the all race distribution. All right, so here they gave us the all race distribution, create and fill in the segments. Well, if they are independent, which they told us they were, then all of them should follow, be exactly the same. All right. We don't know how many white people there are, we don't know how many Hispanic people are, but the proportions will be the same across every single race if party affiliation um, is independent of race, and they told us in scenario three to act as if they were, okay? So, the next thing says, find the table value that results in perfect independence. And you're like, I, I don't know how to do that. And I'm like, yes you do, your middle school teacher showed you. Remember I said independence means a proportion? So that's all you're doing is setting up a proportion and solving, all right? So 105 times 95 divided by 133. This problem right here is based on that same thing, given that they're independent, solve. Unfortunately, there's a typographical and you don't have that 54. You need to have the 54, so I'm giving you the 54. Without the 54, you can't solve the problem. With the 54, you can. Please also know that rows and columns must sum up. So this number had to be 24 because 30 plus 24 has to equal 54. These have to sum up. So this means this is 30 plus 50 is 80 plus 20 more is 100, at which point I can solve for all those different values using proportions or additions and subtractions as your choice may be. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on that. If you have questions, come see me in the tutoring for that because basically um, 30 over 50 equals 54 over V. All right, I know this is 24. 30 over 50 equals 24 over T, and I can just keep going through all of them until I'm done. Okay, so that's independence. Independence is going to say that they're proportional in nature. All right, if there are, and I say that there's more to learn about independence, but for this section, when we ask you if something is important is independent, we want you to recognize that it's proportional. If it's not proportional, 
then there's a relationship between the variables. So here we're saying that grades are, um, are independent of gender. Um, we're saying that grades are independent of gender. So consequently, whatever the proportion is, they should be the same all the way across.